Dahl, nice to see you. So first, uh, talk about the Remain in Mexico policy. This case raises questions not only about immigration, but also about a president's control over policy, right? Yes, exactly. So Joe Biden tried to do away with the Trump era of Remain in Mexico policy, and he was stopped by the lower court. And so now the question for the Supreme Court is, is the president allowed to do that? They were looking at federal law right now, the requirements under it, whether or not they have to have a bed for somebody. They, it allows they may return them to Mexico or release into the United States. And so they're looking at that provision. And this could also have effects on diplomatic relationships with neighboring countries, right? Well, yes. And that was one of the justices, I believe, Justice Kagan. That was her concern. She said, if you interpret it, the wording of it says may return to the country they came from. If you interpret it that they must return to the country they came from, how do you do that? Because you can't control whether or not Mexico wants to be able to have people return to them. And so it would put the United States into like a diplomatic bind that they would effectively be violating the law unless Mexico agreed. Okay, let's uh, shift gears. We're also watching this case centering on environmental protection. Uh, a ruling there has the potential to weaken the government's ability to combat climate change by regulating greenhouse gas emissions. What are you watching on this case? Absolutely. So what they're looking at is basically what can the EPA do in terms of regulations? There was an Obama act that, you know, the clean, the act is from 1970, but they added one in a, specifically to what can they do with the power plants and the pollution. That was put on hold by the courts. Trump did a similar act with less stringent rules. That was blocked by the court. So interestingly enough, there's not an active rule that the court is looking at because the Biden administration hasn't done their own yet. But they're going to look at those acts and look at their interpretation. And the question is, are they going to really limit what the EPA can do in terms of environmental regulation? Or will they allow them to move forward in a way that the Biden administration wants them to be able to do? All right, Dina, thank you. Uh, it is certainly.